and welcome back all you hydroneers larry here and let's get to it from yesterday's previous episode yes we started to dig yeah and about a quarter of a million credits later this is what we have i love that tnt in the barrel you can control the explosion so nicely and just a little bit of minimal effort with the rake and bam we have a beautiful looking wall <laughs> as you can see the build is starting to take shape and if you notice we are going left to right so for all of you that are brand new to the series yes this is a vertical build and not a horizontal build. So, yes, don't get confused here. We got brand new piping. Yes, Claudium. All the way over here. Yee we already have our five filters on, so we don't have to worry about any damage occurring to our drills. And just think, this is with how, if you want to do a clean build, fast build, right here. Carts are where it's at. Throw in 20, 30 parts in each cart. Boom. No running around. No fuss. No muss. Life is good. But. Does this thing work? That's the big question. Huh? Let's find out. Because. We have a little surprise here. Yes. i to turn this one on. And <gasps> what? It doesn't work. Correct. The reason why it doesn't work is I'm an idiot. <laughs> I didn't put any dirt under the drills. But it's okay because <gasps> I'm going to do this. We're going to run on over to a uh, little shop here. And I hope and I really hope that they have a shovel. But I'm looking for a tier 2 shovel. I don't want my regular shovel. Because we're going to dig off of uh, that tier 2 dirt. But it should convert to tier 1 dirt and life will be good. See, here we go. Common shovel. Life is good right there. 694 gold for this. Ouch. We need a Home Depot or something like that for this game. Ew, that is yeesh. And let's just go ahead and jump down here. Oh. I wonder if there's anything over here. That was pretty cool. Anyway. Hey, let's go over here. Now, is it going to make me yank my drill, throw dirt down, and then it be happy? I don't know. Let's find out. Woohoo. And let's turn it on. And it's a weenie. Okay, so let's do it this way. We'll go ahead and turn this puppy off. Because I like doing it this way anyway. Where's my hammer? It's hammer time. Ha ha ha. Okay, take that. And yes, I hammer damn near everything. And I'm not touching that with, uh, yeah, nope. Rated G. Throw some there. Get it all nice and pretty. There we go. All nice and right where it needs to be. Life is good. Now, oh, hammer. Right there. Okie doke. And hammer it. And, and, nothing what is going on here okay we got that hmm. oh but we have no light if there's no light it's like no bueno but what is going on here see this is why you want to check your builds okay we're getting water there life is good Okay, 
So... Why don't you want to work? You should. Oh, it's still saying it doesn't have enough dirt. How much dirt does this thing need to have? Oh my god, that should have been plenty of dirt. Okay, where's my shovel? Okay, here's my shovel. Let's throw dirt on here. Oh my god. I don't see why it's being so picky. That's dirt. Okay. Please tell me this has to work now. Yes. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. And look at that. Our little dirt pieces. Okay. But, see, that's the easy part. How about merging belt part? And you're probably like, what are you talking about? Merging belts. Oh, yeah. If we can't merge belts in this game, oh, that makes life too difficult. No, 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 no. We cannot have that. So, I'm going to show you how to merge a belt. Make life so much easier. Merge, merge, merge. Come on, dirt. Get on there. This is like frosting a cake. Pain in the butt. Okay. So there we have that. Well, I'll throw this one in here. Turn it around. And we're going to turn it on. Okay. <gasps> Look what just happened. <laughs> You're like, Larry, what the hell did you do? How are you getting that piece of dirt over onto this belt? <gasps> See the centering unit right there? <laughs> it does more than you think. Yes. So we look straight down, and that belt is, see, that chunk of dirt, boom. But this centering belt does more than just center stuff down here. It allows a little gap here to see, notice it takes the, it takes the side of the, the belt, uh-oh. Now it stopped working. Okay. Now it did start working. Okay, that makes no sense. That's weird. There's one part of the belt that is funky. Huh? That's something to watch out for. <laughs> look at our mess that we're getting down here. Yes. And yeah, look at some of those clumps. Some of those are really nice sized clumps. But... To get rid of all this dirt, just hit escape. Clear all dirt chunks. Voila. No more mess. Life is good. We really didn't waste anything. So, that is how you can get your uh, belts to merge. Makes life so much easier and it expands the possibilities of your build now, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I think it does. I know it did for me. So let's turn this thing off. And what is next? I've shown you this because <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the bane of everybody's existence. Right here is the water. Water, even though we need it, is a total pain in the butt. With that, oh, let's break stuff because we have crappy water. Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. So, we need to get this water fixed. And what's the easiest way to do it? And that's by auto repair. And people, 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 people. Auto repair sucks. 
it's too bad you can't refill your uh, repair units automatically. You know, somewhere we it we have to stay involved in this thing, but we don't have to do a crazy one. And I'm basically going to mimic the one that I have over at the original build. It's a nice, small, compact one, and life is good. But we have a problem with it. There's a bug in the game. Yes, 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 yes. So let me take you over to the original build and show you this bug. Okay. The problem with some of these repair, auto repair thingies is the display. Yes, the display is like the total bane of my existence here. Because is this thing broken or is it not broken? Because when you log off the game, this thing, when you, when you come back, is it zero? And you're like, oh my God, is this thing broken? Does it actually work? Is it waiting to get down to zero to start repairing or does it keep the number three? I still haven't figured it out, but yes, it's a headache. So just remember when you do auto repair, I don't know if it's buggy or not, but Double check it every time you log on to the game to find out if it's working or not. Uh, I'm going to assume that it works and it's just a display issue and life is good. Because believe it or not, I've never had any of these things actually fry out. But I've never let these things run down to zero either. So, I don't know. Do I need something this big? And I just don't want the starting and stopping of the build because with some of the bugs that have run around in the game, when you lose water pressure, it can freeze stuff. So I just want to avoid as much headaches as possible. So that's the reason why we're going to go this route. Now to build this thing. Okay, we have five filters that we need to fix. So let's go ahead and start out with the number pad. We're definitely going to need a number pad. And then we need five sensors. So these are the sensors that we want. So we're going to need five of these puppies. Okay. And after those five sensors, we need five of the dispensers. So let me pull five dispensers. Now that those five dispensers are on our board, okay, now we got to do the math thingy. Now, this is easy. I mean, just, just go with the flow here. We're just basically doing A equals B. So, this little, this sensor over here, we're going to have it shoot at the water filter. And... When that water filter, let's say, is at 50%, we're going to take this keypad, we're going to type in 5-0, hit the green button, and it's going to show 50 here, okay? This is going to be on the A side. So, A is going to equal 50, okay? When the water filter hits 50, it's going to go here, and it's going to be like, ooh, they both equal 50, what that means is, is this is going to send out an electric pulse and it's going to fire that electric pulse to tell this thing to shoot one wrench at the filter and fix it. That's all there is to this. Nothing more, nothing less. It is that simple. So if I set this little number pad down to three, which is what I typically do, then A is going to equal three. When the water filter equals three, it will shoot out a pulse and repair it. I could set this 
I mean, the number's arbitrary. I could set it to one and then it'll repair itself at one. I can do it for two and it'll repair itself at two. I just chose three just for the heck of it. I mean, that's, that's it. I figure it gives me a little bit of time to where if I'm running around and my dispenser thingies run out of wrenches, uh, I think, I, I think I'm going to be able to visit this thing enough where that shouldn't happen. So, you know, food for thought, it's up to you. You can get as complicated on this thing as you want. To me, this is like the simplest way I can do it with the least amount of parts and not hurt the gray matter while trying to do it because I don't like complicated. Here we have the necessary parts. These are mandatory. Now, and it comes to straights and curves and all that. I'm going to leave that up to you. You can go big, you can go small. I like it very compact with very little parts. So mine is going to wind up with, oh, I think it's going to be four elbows and three straight pieces, something like that for each one of my circuits. So yeah, this thing's not going to be very expensive to build whatsoever. So I need to go get my truck because I've been hoofing it. Plus I need coins. So yeah, I will meet you back at the claim. Yeah. After offloading the truck, Oh God, it's such a mess. And I'm sitting there looking at it and I'm like, Oh, this just isn't going to look right. This isn't going to work right for what I want to get done here. And we want this thing to be easy, 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 easy. I don't want anybody having any problems building this thing or keeping up with it. We're going to get this thing resolved right now. We have to, uh, we have to hammer out our pipes and swap them around or is it just the filters? Maybe it's, I can do it with just the filters. So what we want is the filter. Oh, not right there. What is it? R? No. Try T. Okay. Use the T to rotate it. And we want those filters on the opposite side of this thing. Just like that. So we have that. They're on the right side now. And the reason why I was looking at it going, this doesn't make much sense. I'm not going to have very much room to move around in this thing. So I'm like, okay, maybe I can put this here. The nice thing is, is I can lower this and be able to get a straight, easy walkthrough in here, which I'm going to do. But okay. So we have this and what we need is a curve to go to here, just like that. And I know we need the, the comparator. Okay. Let's put this here. Just like that. So it is Right here, this thing is checking out the filter. This will repair the filter, which is good. Now we need to set this thing up to a point to where we have to be able to compare this to our switch. And to do that, we are going to have to Put it, see, I can place it right here. And what's going to happen is we can send the impulse underneath the floor. Okay. That's no big deal. We're set up for that. So that is fine. 
I just didn't want this thing out going out this far. I wanted to figure out some way where we can compact this a little bit better. It just does not look like that's going to happen. Oh, grr. So right now I'm stuck with it being this big. Let's come on. Can you please connect up? Thank you. Okay. So it's going to have to go like this far out. And I did not want to go that far out. But we're going to have to live with it. And this is going to have to change to go down like that. Because I like having it nice and easy to drop the tools into. Now, the nice thing is I can get around, which is not a problem. Unfortunately, we can't do any type of uh, construction here, you know, ripping these things out because it's, it's just graphics. Okay, after a few hiccups here, yeah, I managed to finally get this thing built. Of course, when you need pieces, you always uh, short yourself one or two. So yeah, that's what happened. But to me, this is by far the simplest thing I can do for repair. Because I do want control over it. I don't want just it decide to do its own thing. And so I can control it by now I can just clear it out with the the X and then if I only want 1% of the filter ready to go, you know, before it gets repaired, I can do that. But like I said, I like 3%. So that's the way I go about it. Now I know it seems kind of weird not having these, uh, additional screens on here, but to me, what was the point? It's just, it's either going to work or it's not. And if it doesn't work, then I'll get it figured out. But, you know, that's the way it goes. So, now it's just time to filling these things. And it's actually, since we don't have any other crap next to them, refilling these things are pretty darn easy. Now, the nice thing is they did actually... Uh, put tools for repair in this store, which is like, thank God. But if you don't look for them, you will easily oversee them because I've watched several creators basically melt down because they're like, dang it, there's no tools in here. You know, why do they sell conveyors and all that? And they don't put tools in here. And they're just so easy to overlook. <laughs> That's the funny part, because they're right there. <laughs> I'm like, okay. But seriously, there's only one bag of them in this whole store. So, okay, I can understand people overlooking them. I really can. But yes, they are sold at this store. I think this should be enough, because I need what? I actually do need 20 in each. Well... Yeah, lag is starting to get bad on this, so I think that's about as many as I should do. 5,060, eh, not sure how many that bought us, but I will get up, up to the claim. And uh, yeah, this is kind of horrible. <laughs> I'm gonna take my shortcut to the claim. Oh, let's see. Will the shortcut work with this much lag? Let's find out. And bunk. There we go. Not too shabby. Ah, this is painful. Let's see if I can jump up here. Yes, I can. That will make. Aha. Okay. 
All you have to do is just stand over it, drop it. And that's all you have to do. And that's how you refill these puppies. Super easy. Now, the one thing I recommend is get a cart full of the wrenches because you're going to go through them. Now, the one that's going to get hit the hardest is going to be, I do believe it's this one because that's where the closest to the main feed is. Okay, so we have all 20. Life is good. I'm not going to have to go and deal with this anytime soon. We got some extra bags there. How many extra? I have no clue. But yes, yeah, so this is a super simple, easy to go water. Life is good. Now, I am going to change this a little bit because I don't, what I was thinking is I want my main water pipe to run across the front and then feed off on the build. So you may want to consider that because I don't know if I like this. I don't like having pipes in my way. I don't like having to jump over things. I just want to be able to walk up ramps or ladders and it all be good. So that's where we're at. Ooh, we must hammer him down. So we now have working drills as we're going to be doing the vertical build. Right here we have the perfect lineup, which I've shown you how to merge the belts. So life is good there. And we have that. We have the water. The nice, easy, clean build with the, the using the carts. So yes, I think we've accomplished a lot today. And I'm going to leave it here. And I think in the next episode, I think next episode, definitely, definitely, we're going to get this thing actually running, running. And so we'll go ahead and build some more tier ones. We will get this thing fired up and we're going to start making some good money here. And we'll be able to shut off the other mine claim for our starter area. So yay. Anyway. I'm Larry. Hopefully you're having a great day and I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.